everyone, this is Boricua Binks, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. <laughs> I was about to say Justice for All, wow, that's weird. Anyway, it's been a while since I have recorded for this game. I'm happy to get back to it, but I believe where we left off was with, um, we were talking to Luke at me, and we got a psych lock. So now we're going to have to break that psych lock. Hopefully we have what we need to do that. So let's continue on. Okay, so... I hope we have enough. I think we're just going to present it and see how it goes. Take that, Luke at me. <laughs> okay, Mask Damasks M.O. Oh, by the way, I did look it up, and it turns out that the word modus amparandi or modus amparandi are both correct. <laughs> so, yeah. Yay! Doesn't matter which one I say. Detective M, you were standing guard at the scene of the crime. There's no way you didn't see Mask to Mask commit the crime. Well, now... I can hardly see why you're so positive about that. Yes, indeed, I was guarding the warehouse. That much is true. But I can tell you for certain that not a single person passed through that door. I'm not sure why, but this Atme guy is lying through his teeth. I know. I'll show him some proof. Detective Abney, I have here proof that someone went through that door last night. And I believe he's talking about the camera data, right? Hold on, let me just double... Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, do I have to double check? There was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. It should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through that door. Precisely. I hope you don't mind, but we've already gotten our hands on the camera data. As you can see, the camera went off exactly once last night. Wah! That was a new look for him. He's like, oh crap. <laughs> but, but my monocle didn't catch anyone in its flash. It must be some kind of computer malfunction. It, it must be. Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. What? what Are you saying that I didn't do my pro my duty properly? Detective at me, you must have seen the thief last night. The question is, why are you trying to hide it? If he's hiding it, there must be some reason. Hmm. I mean, he's such a trustworthy guy, right? <laughs> With that big old nose. Some reason that he desperately wants to keep hidden. And I've got just the piece of evidence that should prove it. I do? Okay, let's suppose you didn't manage to see Mask to Mask. In that case, the reason you didn't at that time was because you were... fast asleep, using the bathroom, or unconscious. Well, I would hope he wasn't using the bathroom. It's like, then why were you there? Um, hmm. Of course, he definitely wouldn't want to admit if he was asleep on the job, but I think we might have an idea that uh, would prove that he was actually unconscious at the time. I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Show me your evidence. Well, Maya was uh, very helpful in showing us exactly why this might be bent. Yeah, it wasn't bent before the crime. Detective at me. You were knocked unconscious by the thief, weren't you? Ha 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 ha! Surely you must be joking. You think that I, look at me, could be knocked unconscious so easily? This sword proves it. Ugh. 
That's... Mm hmm Before the theft, this sword was in the hand of the statue of Ami Fei. Furthermore, at that time, it was not bent. Uh, uh. There's only one explanation. You were struck on the head and knocked unconscious by this sword. Well, detective, what about it? I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. Yeah! We got you. Caught you in a lie, son. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to him about the MO now. Yeah, go ahead, keep sweating. You liar. I can't deny that there may be a small hint of truth in what you say. So, you were knocked out when the thief first clobbered you? Clobber? What an ugly way of saying it. But I suppose you could put it that way. The coward struck at the precise moment that I turned to take a look at the computer. So you never noticed that the thief had entered the warehouse? No, the coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts or the sewer pipes. Then, my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. Ouch! He should have his poor head examined. <laughs> For more than just injuries, am I right? You can say that again. How could he have underestimated the thief that badly? No kidding. Alright, Shichishito was updated. Well, it looks like we got one thing cleared up anyway. Huh? What? That Atme is the greatest ace detective in the world? No, that he never actually saw the thief. Oh, that's right! So the thief may not even be mask to mask. Just one moment, sir lawyer. The thief was unquestionably mask to mask. But you never actually saw him. Perhaps so, but I installed a security camera for just such a contingency. Oh. Last night, the camera went off exactly once. Behold, this is a photo of the dastardly thief. Eh, dastardly thief. Trying to speak with this accent is really hard. <laughs> Taken by the security camera. Oh boy, Th that's him! Oh yeah. M mask to mask! Alright, were you even gonna give us this evidence before? I doubt it. <laughs> the thief can be none other than the arch criminal, mask to mask. After all, he has a very good reason for committing such brazen crimes. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, what's this reason? So, what did you mean by he had a very good reason? Exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. You'll need to go and investigate. Yeah, we saw that envelope. We weren't able to look at it before, but it looks like now we can. But, but how would you know about that? <laughs> Have you forgotten? You're speaking to the finest ace detective ever to walk on the face of the earth. The most brilliant mind since, well, ever. Look at me. <sighs> well, I guess we'd better go take a look, just in case. I don't know, how did you even know that? Mm. <laughs> Alright, let's get a move on back to Damask's hideout. Alright, hi Desi, how you doing girl? How you uh, living that uh, gold digger lifestyle? <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the envelope. Hey Nick, remember what Detective at me said? Uh, yes, we just saw this, like, a second ago. <laughs> Seriously, game? Ah, uh, wow. 
I should ha I should have started like an actual tally mark at the bottom of the screen of how many times we had unnecessary flashbacks in this game. That would be really, really funny. <laughs> oh well. A green envelope, huh? Looks like this is it. Okay, let's have a look. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring $50,000. 50000 50000 This is a... B -b blackmail letter. It sure looks like a major clue, all right. Ooh. And it's just out in the open. Does Desi know about this? Oh. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't take but a second, I promise. Way to break the tension. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming. That's so nice of you. When I see a damsel in distress, I just can't help myself. Who is this? Please, come on in. I'll make some coffee. Really? Okay, I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. <gasps> no! Is this who I think it is? Wait a minute. I know that voice. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm never able to do a good voice for this person. No! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Nikki boy. I'm so sorry, but I've got another guest. Ah! You... You're... Nick, it's you! And Maya, too? What a fluke! Ah, Larry! Long time no see! What? You know each other? N nicky boy! Nick, do you and this girl have, you know, something going on? S something If you mean what I... I underestimated you, Nick! A gorgeous lady like this? And married, too? Way to go, dude. I knew it. Just when things can't get any worse, it's time to cue in the butts. Ah, it's Larry! <laughs> I'm always happy when he shows up. Even if he causes nothing but trouble, I'm happy to see him. <laughs> That's a new outfit for you. Uh, looks like you're all dressed up for work, huh? Hmm. Those initials. Interesting. But I'm jumping ahead. Anyway. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I've missed you. Larry Butts. Ever since grade school, he's been... Not exactly a close friend, but yeah, we know each other. Hey, man, that wasn't nice. I was your very first client. It's been 25 years since I first met Larry. And what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, it's usually the butts. I I am so curious, like, how this goes in translation. Like, in Japan, what is their saying? You know? I need to look that up. Or I need to ask Inferno. She would know. <laughs> I don't even know his name in Japanese. Hey, come on now. You're embarrassing me. And in front of this pretty little thing here. So you two are old childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You two go ahead and catch up on old times. I'm gonna go check on my bike. Yeah, we're just gonna take over your house. Thanks so much. Nice girl, that Desi. So, how have you been, Nick? Too busy, if you really want to know. Alright, uh, busy is good. I mean, before this, you were just cleaning the toilet, so <laughs> let's talk, buddy. So, what have you been up to this whole time? It's been two years since I heard from you. And what's with these clothes? You look, well, weird. Yeah, he looks all responsible and, like, professional and adult. It's strange. Hey, man, that's on call for. This is my uniform for my part-time job. But I can't believe it's been two years. They say time flies when you're having fun. 
Huh? Wh what's wrong? Nick, I gotta tell you, women, I don't trust them anymore. You got dumped again. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love him whenever he's like <laughs> with the starry eyes and crying. <laughs> Ugh, Larry, <laughs> you, you're the best. Uh, oh my god, this name. Why? This name. Game. Why? <sighs> he always dates people with the weirdest names. Well, you know, Benifer, I followed her all the way to Tibet two years ago. Dude, that's freaking psycho. That's where I met the famous Caddy. Katie Tom. <sighs> and my whole life changed. Benifer? Katie Tom? I never heard of either of them. Anyway, dude! Katie Tom chose Hollywood over me! Can you believe it? Well, actually... Anyway, sounds like you had quite the adventure. Women. They're so... So... Uh. Oh, but, but you're different, Maya. You're not like the rest. Looks like he's still the same old Larry. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Why did you come here, sir? So, what are you doing here anyway? Huh? What do you mean by that? I'm just a natural-born nice guy, that's all. Uh-huh. Well, actually, I picked this up last night while I was working. A wallet? You say you found this last night? Yeah, it had a driver's license in it, so I figured I'd just return it myself. Aw, oh, that's actually a nice thing, Larry. Good for you. Okay, Ron's wallet, huh? Hang on, let me see that for a minute. I knew it. Desi's picture is in here. Okay, I just take back what I said. <sighs> You didn't do this out of the kindness of your heart. You did it because you saw a pretty woman. Oh, Larry, will you ever grow up? <laughs> yeah, I guess you really digs his wife, huh? Hey, Nick, it's not what you're thinking at all. No, I'm pretty sure it is. You haven't changed a bit. Aw, oh, no way, man. I mean, she's a married woman. That's just bad news. He really is here just to check out Miss Delight. So you said you found it at your job, right? Yep. I'm working for a, a private security company as a guard. Chicks. Oh. Oh. Whoa. I almost... That was weird. My volume just went up for some reason. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Chicks just love a guy in uniform, you know? security guard, huh? So that's what that uniform is all about. He doesn't seem like the tough, burly security guard type, though. So what time was it when you found this last night? Huh? Why are you asking that? <sighs> Excuse me. Trying to see if I've got an alibi? Um, you're not the one on the hook for a crime this time, buddy. Or are you? <laughs> I don't trust him. <laughs> I guess it was around 1 in the morning on the first floor of our company building. What was Mr. Delight's wallet doing there? Anyway, there's nothing weird about that. After all, he works there. He works there? You mean Mr. Delight? Sure. Here, take a look at this. It's right there in his wallet. What's this card? It's a key card for the security company. Hey, it's got a serial number on it right there. There's no mistake about it. You said you were working part-time at a security company, right? That's right. Why are you making that scary face? Security company, huh? Something's not quite secure about Larry working there <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I need to find out as much as I can about this key card. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I suppose we'll just present it back to him then? 
Larry, my good buddy, please tell me more. So you're sure about this key card? Yep, that's the key card they use at the building I work in. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. You need it to get into that room, and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. It leaves a record? Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Larry, I need that data. Whoa, slow down, man. Sorry, but that data is off limits to outsiders. If I lost this job, I'd never have a chance with Desi. Oh my god. Larry, she's married! It's times like these when I wish lawyers weren't so powerless. He's not going to even react to that comment because he knows how he is. <laughs> okay, um, what about the wallet? You didn't touch anything in the wallet, did you? Hey, man, be serious. You know what I was interested in. <laughs> no shame. <laughs> if Mask the Mask doesn't look out, he's going to be the victim of a robbery himself. <laughs> That's funny. Is there anything else we need to talk about? No? Um, hmm. Do we have to present this? Hey, Larry. What about this? What? If you got something to say, then say it already. Huh? A blackmail letter? Do you know anything about this? What? I don't know anything about Alexis, and that's the truth! What the... Huh? What? Uh, I can't believe you do this to me! I thought you were my friend! Fifty thousand dollars? I don't have that kind of money! Oh my god, Larry, please. Who's Alexis? <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. This blackmail letter was sent to Ron Delight. Woo! Man, you scared me. I almost had a heart attack, you idiot. You're the idiot. <laughs> Wait, I'm the idiot? Man, I was totally confused because it says KB Security right on the envelope. Um, yeah, so what? That's where I've got a part-time job, at KB Security. What? What? Sounds like I should really find out some more about this KB Security company. It's... Dude, it's on his shirt. <sighs> alright, alright. <laughs> Phoenix, come on now. Alright, let's talk about KB Security. KB Security. The company in the blackmail letter. You know about it? <clears throat> That's where I work, yeah. In fact, I'm on the job right now. Then why are you here? Huh? So what are you doing here then? Well, the boss is away right now, and you know what mice do when the cat's away. Yes, yes. <sighs> anyway, how far away is this company? Let me see. About 30 minutes by car, I guess. Well, if you fly down the road anyway. Huh. Well, this apartment building is pretty close to Lordly Taylor, right? And it would take roughly an hour to go from here to KB Security and back. If Ronda Light was at KB Security when the robbery occurred, then... Whoa! Then he couldn't have stolen the sacred urn! Hmm? Oh, Nick! Your phone! Oh, it's Pearl. <laughs> Hi, Pearl. I didn't know you could call. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Hello, is this the right residence? Oh, Pearls. Where are you? I, I thought I'd go to Lordly Taylor to try to find some more clues, but... I'm afraid I've gotten lost. What? Give me that phone, Nick. Pearly, where are you right now? And why did you guys leave her alone? Ugh, that pisses me off. Um, I was walking along and I found myself in front of that person's office. That person? Who? Um, 
that person who doesn't act his age and always says Savari when he's excited. Luke at me. He's detective. Oh, jeez. Of all places. Okay, stay right there. We're coming to get you. Uh, all right. I I'm a little scared. You should have been not alone. Ugh. I don't like that. All right, let's go, Maya. Wait a second, Nick. What? That phone call just now sounded like a real cutie. Another one of your, ahem, special friends? Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna even respond to this. <laughs> Say goodbye to Miss Delight for me, would you, Larry? <laughs> yeah, Larry, just let it go, dude. <laughs> Come on, she's a little girl. <laughs> Alright, so uh, that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye.